Well, now we are going to uh, multiply two polynomials, so we'll use the distributive property. And uh, let me rewrite this. This is 3n squared times 6n plus 7, and that equals 3n squared times 6n plus 3n squared times 7. When you distribute that 3n squared, well, 3 times 6 is 18, and n, and now we'll add exponents, and the uh, exponent here is 1. It's understood. That's why you don't see it. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 times 3 is 21, and we have an n squared, and we're done with that one. Now let's do another one of these. And what we are going to do is multiply two expressions, and uh, when we do this, we're going to use the uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can use the FOIL method, and uh, or you can use the distributive property. So let me just do it using the distributive property, for example. So this equals 5x uh, minus 6 times 4x and minus, because of that uh, minus 1 there, minus, or I'll, I'll make it a plus, I'll make it a plus, plus 5x minus 6 times negative 1. So we've distributed the 5x minus 6. Now we want, when we multiply 4x times each of these terms, 4 times 5 is 20, and x times x, adding the exponents, is x squared. Now multiplying, now we have that sign there, and that's negative, so we'll multiply 4 times 6 is 24, and we have that factor of x also. Now plus, and negative 1 times 5x is negative 5x, and negative 1 times negative uh, 6 is plus 6. So let's keep going. 20x squared minus 24x, and a positive times a negative is a negative 5x plus 6. So now let's gather up like terms, and there's only one term with x squared in it, but here we have two like terms, so negative 24x minus 5x is negative 29x, and finally we have our friend Mr. 6 there, and that's a plus 6, and we're done.